Good morning. <laughs> Just wait for this to go. Good morning. This is Ananda from Ananda Star Angel. Thank you very much for joining me. So today we're going to have a short um, shamanic journey. And the intention is for you to meet your either your high self or your spirit guides. Um, of course, you can do this via any any sort of meditation, but it seems to to suit some people because what you can do is you can you can stand whilst you do this journey. It's called a journey. You can stay seated um, with your back straight, or you can start to sway. You can dance. You can drum yourself, or you can rattle. Um, so it's, uh, I suppose you could say it's quite interactive, so you, you can, you can get involved and you can move with the, with the drum beat and, um, you can also use it to, to contribute to getting deeper in, into yourself and deeper into your own dreaming or your own journeying. So before we go on to that, um, we've got, uh, I have a, another deck here, but I just think that what what I'd like to do is just a, a very quick, a very quick um, introduction to 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 what happens um, to how you start a shamanic journey. So I, I generally drum, but because it might be some people's first time doing this. Um, um, what I'll do is I'll treat it like a, a guided meditation, and as I drum. I will take you through it. So you take yourself, you start a visualization or the meditation or the journey in your favorite place in nature. So it could be on the beach. And what you do is it's in the first person. So you 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 sense everything there. So if for, for me, um, my favorite place is a specific beach. And so I can feel the wind swaying. I can feel it on my skin, on my clothes, and I can feel the sand underfoot. I can hear the birds, and I can smell the salt of the of the of the air. So it's it's that's what you need to do. You need to kind of bring your body with you, bring all your senses with you, as you as you appreciate that space, and you can either. There are three, three worlds, um, and we won't go to the middle world. It's either the lower world or the upper worlds, and to go to. And it doesn't matter where, where, where you, where you, you take yourself. If you go, if you find that you're drawn to a tree and you want to go down the roots, then you go down the roots, and you may see staircases, or you follow the staircase, and inevitably you come across uh, some sort of doorway. Some people go up tree because they want to go into the upper worlds or the higher worlds and it doesn't mean that your guide is lesser if you find them in the lower or high if you find them in the higher worlds it's got nothing to do with that i've met angel guides um whilst i've gone into the, the lower worlds and um so yeah you know it, it's just it's just a means to 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 get you to a, to, to a place or to a state where, where you need to be so that you are open to this divine guidance. Okay, so it's divine guidance that we're looking for. It's pure light and pure love and nothing else. Anything less is um, is not something we want to work with because then there's some sort of possibility of manipulation and control there and it's not from love and there's a tendency not to not to be respectful either. So you want um, to work with beings who are, um, yes, who are pure light, angels, angelic, ascended ones. Okay. So, like I was saying, you if you climb, if you decide you have to go up the tree, or you see the staircase taking you up, that's absolutely fine. But there is a, a threshold, like a, a like a doorway or gateway or a threshold that we tend to find ourselves. If you go up the tree and you're at the top of the, the branches, um, you may find that you, you encounter a uh, mist, a layer of mist, and that is your that is the threshold and you cross into another dimension or into another state. And 
um, if you go down the tree roots and, and you go through a, another landscape, you may find yourself at a, a doorway or a portal of some sort, okay? And then you continue your journey after that and you will meet whoever you need to meet or you meet um, a, a, um, a, a non-negative ego part of yourself so that you can gain guidance and you can gain inspiration during this time because especially if you're at home, quite a bit, there's a, there's a, a lot of opportunity to use this time to really discover yourself a bit more, discover what you like. If you need some help with that, then drop me a line because I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions and of course we can do it over Skype and we can do drumming over Skype. The only thing I'm not quite happy with, with at the moment is gong over Skype because it can squeal. But we can do all sorts of other things like coaching and angelic Reiki over Skype. So. So the important thing is to set your intention. Do you want to meet a spirit guide or do you want to meet an aspect of yourself? And what do you want to gain from this meeting? It will take about 15 minutes and please excuse King if he's barking because the, um, the, the, the rubbish people are collecting and he, he can hear what's going on outside. So he's a typical guard dog and he starts to bark and he's sitting right next to the door wondering what's going on out there kind of asking me, open the door, let me have a sniff and let me have a look, which is really sweet. So I will take you through the journey. So, and I will stop talking once we get, get to a certain point when we get to the portals and I will stop after that when we go beyond the portals. Okay, and remember to take being first person. I find it quite, a, quite challenging to do that at times. Um, and when we're coming to the end of it, you need to return the same way. So you need to come back to where that portal was. So if you're going off um, up into the high worlds, uh, you, you need to bring your visualization. So you come back and you come through the mist or the doorway and you come down the tree as you did before. Or you come through the portal if you're in the lower worlds and you come up the same staircase or the same tree roots or the same um, means to get back to the original um, favorite place in nature where we started. Okay, so our card today, um, well our deck that we're using today is um, Carl Gray's Keepers of the Light. They're really quite, they're really beautiful and they have got a, a lovely energy. So Let's see what the guidance is today. Oh, it's falling out already. Okay. Right. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> so the card we have is Diana and it's focused intention. So here we are before we go on a meditation. Um, we have a card. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible income so there we are and um, for Facebook people so you can see okay so Diana she has um, the symbol of the crescent moon on her crown the huntress this is Diana the huntress so uh, when when we so we have to treat this like a hunt you your intention is to connect to spirit guides or yourself what information you want to gain be very clear have um have your questions ready if you need to or you can just be really open and say just tell me what i need to hear at this moment in time so that i can have a peaceful calm and joyful time throughout this time of chaos Okay, but for those who have very specific questions, it's probably a, a good time to formulate them and to, to expect some answers and to be open to the answers because um, sometimes it's, it might be a little bit difficult to uh, accept what we, what we perceive and what we hear. Okay, so we can have the have the help to receive the advice um, from our own high wisdom or our own pure light spirit guides our family of light 
um, then let's ask for some help for that. Okay, expect the best outcome possible. So if you're worried about money, just welcome all these opportunities and to bring you more material wealth. Um, yes, welcome whatever you need into your life. Um, and I was doing this last night, it was amazing. And when you feel that you have it already, that really charges charges the atmosphere and charges you more, changes your vibration so that you vibrate at that wavelength and it's just, that's just what you get then. So if we vibrate at feeling poor, poverty, then that's kind of what, that's kind of what happens. Okay. So if you'd like to just relax, And stand if you need to stand. Have a have a good solid stance. Set legs um, comfortably apart. Maybe shoulder width apart. Keep your back straight. And close your eyes. And remember to bring your body with you. To feel everything. Feel all using all your senses. So. I'm going to start to drum. Find yourself in your favorite place in nature. I'm just going to put it down here because I don't want it to override my voice. Thank you. 
even taste. You might taste the air.
retrace your steps. So if you came up through the branches of the tree of life, then you're going down the branches. If you came through the doorway and you've come out the same door, you find yourself at the top of the steps of the temple and you start to go down. a little stretch if you're doing this seated uh, you can also do a little stretch if you're standing up or if you are moving and dancing so I hope that that helped you and it might be a good idea to journal everything that you've um, that you've experienced and you can use this meditation again if you'd like to do it again okay so thank you very much for joining me. Oops. And I hope that you're all keeping well and you're able to embody peace, calm, unity, joy and love throughout this time. It is um, quite a challenging time, but you can do it and you can take full advantage of this time to just investigate what you need. Okay, and find out what you need and also find different ways in which you can contact and communicate with other people. I mean, we've got the internet and lots of phones, so it's, it's really brilliant. But let's also remember um, other people who perhaps aren't um, internet and tech savvy. And perhaps just to remember to offer them a helping hand if they need to, in a safe way, of course. Perhaps by doing a bit of shopping for them. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me for this meditation and I hope to see you tomorrow. I have yet to decide what we're going to do, but we will see and I will post um, a little bit earlier so you can decide whether you want to join in or not. Okay, so make sure you're completely grounded before you do anything else. Okay. And if you need to do some exercise, gentle exercise or some cross crawl before you do anything else, that's great. Make sure you drink enough water, have a bit of protein um, and do some stretching. Yeah, make sure you have enough water. And make sure that you're all fully grounded before you do anything else. And the, these journeys should not be done whilst you're doing anything else. You have to make the time to do it and not drive and not do any other thing which requires your full attention because you go into an altered state. Okay, so thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow. And this will be downloaded onto YouTube as well. So if for some reason it disappears on Facebook, it will be on my YouTube channel, on the Ananda Star Angel YouTube channel. Okay, goodbye for now. Love you all and take care.